Efren, the last time we met, um, I was just on the cusp of uh, explaining <clears throat> what uh, the, uh, this painting, which is called Interior Portrait Number no. One, uh, is all about. And um, in a nutshell, it is a uh, delving into the uh, many personae of uh, the web and weave of my mind. Uh, people, individuals, artists for the most part, as well as other uh, creative individuals who uh, I have been, who I have sought inspiration from and, uh, and consequently make up a kind of complex um, weave of, of, of identities. Uh, now, in this particular case, this individual is a composite portrait, in a sense, of uh, uh, certain individuals of, of the Hispanic culture which have inspired me. Um, people like uh, the poet uh, Pablo Neruda, uh, the artist Rivera, Cellist Casals, and then of course Picasso. And there are many others, of course, and not simply just a question of uh, uh, Hispanic, but also other cultures. Anyone who I felt, you know, drew me into uh, a um, a certain um, fascination with how they worked and what they did, and and, and so on. Uh, in some cases, revolutionaries. And I think I consider people like uh, Picasso and Rivera and Neruda, in a sense, revolutionaries um, on a cultural level. So. This work is that uh, Spanish spirit, so to speak. A previous painting that I did, which was in the last show here, uh, the last images show, was um, called the uh, Portrait of the Artist as Poet. And this was an attempt to express in, in a visual metaphor, uh, my interest in literature, my interest in poetry, and so on and so forth. So, the physiognomy of that image, of course, doesn't bear a resemblance to my physiognomy. In that same show was a portrait of myself as painter, and there there is obviously a resemblance of, of myself um, in terms of my physical physiognomy. But the psychological physiognomy, so to speak, with regard to the poet painting, uh, looks like someone else completely. And this had to do with a certain complex weave of certain poets that I was, that I was interested in. In this painting, it's a weave, again, as I say, of uh, those Spanish um, artistic spirits um, who have made uh, a certain impact on my life, on my creative life in painting. So I intend to do several uh, more interior portraits, as I call them, and um, they will they will, you know, essentially uh, I think manifest a great many more aspects of my psyche which, uh, which makes it, uh, I think, a very fascinating uh, type of portraiture. I I think that um, that this concept of um, it's a it's a form of of fictive portraiture 
It's not. I'm not the first one to uh, to have delved into uh, into creating a uh, fictional character, so to speak. Um, R. B. Kitai, for example, did several uh, so-called uh, fictional portraits, creating certain characters based on people he knew. Uh, one individual was Joe Singer, who was a friend of his parents, who appears again and again in Kitai's paintings. Uh, in my particular case, however, my influences are um, are fused in a, um, a multi-faceted mosaic, so to speak, of personalities in one individual, as opposed to, let's say, creating uh, one fictive persona. And uh, I think this will this will uh, produce a lot of very interesting works. So thank you.